What's up guys? Welcome back to another trade review. Uh, today is a bad day for me. All my trades went south today. Luckily, I did not go with a lot of share side. Like I, I was trading with low share side because all the thing wasn't perfect. So, but still, it, it, it's still a bad day, you know. And this is the thing you have to deal with as a trader. You know, you go against your intu intuition and you get hurt. You know, I was supposed to walk away, but yet I walk into a trap. So that's the problem. So let's talk about Tif Tiffany, okay? Tiffany, the technical for this trade looks perfect, right? It's a top, top breakout trade. This looks like a, uh, you know, a cup and handle formation too, right? So uh, 125 was the entry right here, and that's where it fell, you know. And uh, this, to be honest, like if you look at it, uh, just from the technical side, it looks really perfect, you know. Pre-market 125, um, open decent volume, um, tested the high, okay, with decent volume, okay, and then put on high and low here, okay, and then uh, trying to break out but fell, okay. So at this point is fairly decent and then you risk if you trade at 125 entry right here you risk about 70 cent okay for this trade so half a percent uh for this trade so it's a pretty decent um you know like when you look at the technical you were like damn this shit is inviting you know it's a trap but you know it was trap because there are the signs that that this is a trap but yet i was like you know why don't i just take it maybe do it with a low csi so that's my justification, but you know, stupid still is stupid. Sometimes you have to resist the urge, and that the thing is so hard to do. This is not my first time, and I, I and hopefully after this I won't do it again. After I make this video and post it up, and then when I look at it again, I was like, you know what? I should not do this when I see all the sign. So the technical, the technicals are perfect, but there are other underlying problem. Okay, so let's talk about them so that you won't make the same mistake like I do, okay? Uh, let read the shit, all right? So basically, number one uh, is the catalyst, okay? Today, uh, Tiffany has earning, okay? Um, it was bad. Uh, they missed the EPS, they missed the revenue, uh, but I guess, but yet it's up like, you know, pre-market and then they're trying to break out at this point, you know? So that's the thing, like I said, it's, the the catalyst was bad. I should not have been trading. I should trade this on the downside, not the upside. So I against uh, uh, against that. That's number one thing. That's bad. Okay. Uh, number two. This is very important. One I uh, to trade a top breakout. Okay. Um, trade top breakout. You want to have a lot of volume. Okay. So but at this point, um, like an hour and a half in, this is where the thing the, the volume was only one point five millions. Okay. So that's not even significant. Okay, so look at this, right? Tiffany, um, the whole day, it was only 3 million share traded, and the average 6 month volume is 2.6 million. So that's a like no volume, you know, for an, a stock with earning with a catalyst like that. And yet, you know, there no one trading it. So that's the main problem. So the catalyst was a bad, and second thing is the volume, okay? There was no volume. So when, you know, technical is more like a fulfilling prophecy, so when you see there no volume for a top breakout trade to get in, you know, especially, you know, like the consolidation here is good too, like an hour of consolidation, but because there wasn't enough volume, you know, to push this thing up, there is a bear trap right here too, you know, a, a, a little volume of a bear trap right here, but it wasn't significant enough to push it up because there wasn't people watching this, okay, and then to push this up. So that's the problem. So next time, volume for top breakout is very important. If you don't see it, maybe stay away from the tray, okay? So that's number two. Number three, this is significant. I, If you watch my video, you know that I like to trade the stock with the S&P, okay? The minute the S&P goes south, it can move the stock south with it, okay? So basically, this is the S&P, okay, the overlay. Now, you know the S&P was down today, so the relative strength why for this, right? it was um decent because it was you know up two percent up it was up pre-market the s p was down okay and but the thing is the movement of this 
it wasn't aligning with the S&P, okay? So the S&P make the low uh, of the day, and then it consolidated and it went up. At this point, the, the, the stock was down, right? Was moving down when the, the S&P was moving up, and the S&P was moving sideways. This kind of moved sideways, and then the S&P moved up. Look, at this point, this should have broken out already, but yet it did not. It still stays sideways consolidation. So the movement uh, with the S&P wasn't there. So you should know that is a problem. The minute you see that, relative, even the relative strength percentage-wise is good, but the movement is not moving with S&P, that is a huge problem, okay? So at this point, the S&P is like consolidate, move up to this point. It's kind of extended, okay? So at the minute right here, that's where I got in. You know, the, it's already still moving sideways. So like that was a bad sign. It, it, when you trade and the S&P is extend to the upside, you don't want to get into a top breakout trade because that's a bad thing because, you know, if it is, if it does go, it's not going to go a lot. Okay, so that's the thing, um, you know, so trading against the S&P is bad. And then as the S&P moved down, look at this stock, this stock moving down. And then this is where it broke, you know, this low. And that's it. The trade is done. Some people, you know, it break right here is done. You know, basically, um, I got out kind of, uh, I got out right here. But, you know, I, did, I didn't wait. I, I, I know the pro, I, I saw this, so like, you know, I, I had the institute intuition about this already but i go against myself okay and then i i did this and you know it was bad it's just a bad day all bad decision all my trade was bad today so you know but so you know this you know when you see the sign for this is it, very important even though the technical looks nearly perfect nearly perfect all right but you know if there's no volume for a top breakout trade and then you're trading against the s p that's a no-no, okay? And this is the three-minute chart, just so you know. And this is one minute, and this is like closer look. And you can see, you know, gaze, the volume, and everything. But, you know, this is more of the general, and I tell you what the problem is, uh, basically. Okay, guys, so that's it. And that's the problem. So next time you see those signs, please do not get in a top breakout tray. And uh, if you have any question, put it in the comment section. And uh, thank you for watching, and uh, happy trading, guys. Thanks. Bye.